After James Webb shocked us with images of the young universe right at the beginning of his mission, it's now the turn of completely new views of our own solar system. The latest image of Saturn suddenly presents the gas giant with its rings in a completely different light, and the new telescope once again reveals things that no human has ever seen before. Scientists have to ask themselves again the unpleasant question, what they actually knew about our solar system so far, and whether Saturn is possibly completely different than assumed so far. Let us now set out on a journey right outside our galactic front door and to our mysterious neighboring planet, Saturn. Saturn Rediscovered The James Webb Space Telescope is delivering a bang for its buck. Scientists knew this telescope would be like no other before it. Images of deep space, fascinating phenomena in the cosmos, such as colorful nebulae and distant galaxies, have never been seen with such luminosity and sharpness. Gradually, the new star telescope will also turn its attention to the celestial bodies in our own solar system. And so on June 25, 2023, NASA released a brand new image of the gas giant Saturn. Many amateur astronomers would not have recognized the planet in this image at all, but might have assumed a Saturn-like exoplanet somewhere in the far reaches of the cosmos. Saturn's greatly changed face is caused by the technique used to take the image. With the NIRCAM instrument, James Webb images familiar objects in a completely new way. This is not just for artistic effect. The color filtering serves to emphasize certain features of a planet that would go unrecognized in the visible light spectrum. The new image shows the otherwise light gray to brownish Saturn in very dark colors and the beautiful ring system brilliantly lit. The other gas giants of the solar system have already been shown in a whole new light by James Webb, and Saturn was the last in line to be missing. For the gas giants in particular, the new technology is a tremendous advance, as the filters allow precise analyses of surface composition for the first time. Heat and Thermal Emissions It is not so easy to find out from a distance what is going on on a planet hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. James Webb's new technologies are designed to help peer deeper into the goings-on of gas giants. Unlike visible light, the longer wavelengths of infrared light easily penetrate the dense cloud bands and areas of gas and dust. The scattering or absorption of the waves in the deeper areas of the gas planets makes the structures inside visible. In this way, James Webb's infrared cameras are now revealing many aspects of previously completely hidden objects in space. The exploration of Saturn and company has thus entered a completely new round, and we can look forward with anticipation to the completely new insights that will come our way. In addition to structures in the interior, the infrared light can make measurements of elements in the gas shells. Infrared light is not completely free of reactions. For example, when it hits the methane gas in Saturn's atmosphere at a certain wavelength, almost all of the light is absorbed. This is why Saturn looks very dark in the image taken by Webb, even though Saturn's northern hemisphere was at the end of its seven-year summer when the image was taken. That part is much darker in the infrared view. Scientists are now trying to figure out why this is so. The phenomenon points to a previously unknown process in Saturn's atmosphere that produces tiny particles, or aerosols. On the other hand, the atmosphere surrounding the edges of the planet's disk glows brightly in the images. This glow could be the result of methane fluorescence. In fluorescence, atoms absorb light and then emit it at a completely different frequency. According to initial estimates, the bright edge could also come from emissions of tri-hydrogen ions, which are abundant in Saturn's upper layers. However, we won't be able to share exact results of the research until scientists release new studies on the images. Images like these provide planetary scientists with material to spend months or even years working with a celestial body. The Technology Behind the Images The image you see here is much more than just one image. The final image is the result of a long-term observation during which many different individual images were taken. Then, James Webb merges the raw images taken with different infrared wavelength filters. At the moment, not all of the individual images are available, 
but each partial image shows a different aspect of Saturn's surface and environment. Some images we can already share with you include this one, in which Saturn looks like a giant glowing flying saucer. In this image, taken with a near-spec wavelength spectrometer, Saturn's cloud bands can be seen and the glow of the fluorescent ring light outshines everything. Another stunning image depicts Saturn almost completely black in short near-infrared wavelengths. Each of these images reveals to scientists new details of this unique planet and allows conclusions to be drawn about circumstances never before known. This stunning snapshot is the result of a 20-hour observing mission and shows Saturn as a chocolate brown sphere in rings that glow almost bright blue. Again, however, the image is not just for beauty. Rather, the filters of the near spectrometer have been given the task here of delving deeper into the mysteries of Saturn's moons and rings. In the course of observing Saturn for several days with the James Webb telescope, numerous other measurements have been made with James Webb's mid-infrared instrument and MIRI. For the moment, however, scientists are still keeping these images a secret. The fan community is eagerly awaiting these images as well and hopes for more brand new impressions of Saturn. NASA stages James Webb's missions and the latest images as a clever play on the curiosity and interest of the millions of people on Earth. Images become public only every few weeks and then usually only very sparsely. That is understandable, because with NASA and with the scientists involved, one does not want that James Webb degenerates to an instrument that the masses fog with constant new input. The images will be released to the public in a way and a manner that will inspire and intrigue and increase interest in space exploration. The newest and most expensive space observatory is a science laboratory in its own right. Placed deep in space, after many years of construction, the telescope finally provides the images and measurements that scientists have long dreamed of. Now, let's turn our attention back to Saturn. Saturn's rings shine. A few months ago, Webb surprised us with a very similar image of Jupiter. Again, amateur astronomers were surprised because they had never seen the solar system's largest and heaviest planet like this before. Infrared technology revealed structures that, amazingly, have now been found in a very similar form in Saturn's northern regions. In both cases, scientists suspect a play of gravitational waves interacting with aerosols in the upper atmosphere. The main attraction of the images are, of course, the rings and the moons Dion, Enceladus, and Tethys. Against the dark background that Saturn presents here, the rings come to the fore like the real superstars of the image. Saturn's rings, despite intensive research over the past decades, are still a mystery that captivates scientists and ordinary people alike. In the new image, they appear as luminous and thick horizontal bands. The variety of rings appears to merge into three large main rings in the image. Thanks to space probes such as Cassini, astromologists have found that the rings are made up of a mixture of dust, rock, and ice particles. The size of the massive portions ranges from tiny grains the size of grains of sand to chunks of rock the size of tall mountains. Where the rock comes from and to what extent it's connected with the formation of the numerous moons in Saturn's environment is still one of the big questions of astronomy. In the case of the ice ring, on the other hand, this question was clarified by the Cassini mission, which lasted almost 20 years. Fascinating images reveal that the icy moon Enceladus blows large quantities of ice particles 9,600 kilometers into the surrounding area in the course of violent volcanic eruptions, thus forming part of the ring system. Saturn's moons. 82 moons romp around Saturn. On the new image, Dion, Enceladus, and Tethys are lined up like on a string and are visible as luminous dots. We have already briefly introduced Enceladus to you but this moon holds far more secrets than just its ice fountains. Scientists suspect that under the icy surface of the moon, there is one of the largest oceans outside the Earth and within the solar system. Volcanism reveals that Enceladus must be active in its interior. Consequently, the water in the deepest layers of the moon could be liquid. Traces of phosphor measured in the vicinity of Enceladus indicate the existence of biological life the deep oceans could hide microbes or other tiny creatures. Currently, 
There are plans to drill Enceladus and several other icy moons in the future to uncover the mystery in the depths of the moons. If scientists found traces of bacteria on another planet or moon for the first time, it would be a tremendous advance in the study of the origin of life throughout the solar system or even throughout space. Just the beginning. A year after its launch, the James Webb mission is still in its early stages. The roughly $11 billion telescope will remain the superstar of the night sky for at least 10 years. The telescope's operation will likely go much further. Its Hubble colleague is also currently still in operation and has been since 1995. Scientists admit that they have to figure out what James Webb is really capable of in the first observing runs. The instrument offers thousands of calibration options, filtering, and analysis techniques. It's kind of like if someone gave you a new high-tech camera. The model with these capabilities never existed on the market before. Even as professionals, you would be dealing with something completely new. At first, you would fiddle around a bit, try it out, adjust it, figure it out, and over months or years, you would probably still find new possibilities. This is exactly what researchers are currently doing with James Webb, and we can truly look forward to seeing what mysteries and enigmatic phenomena of the cosmos this telescope will reveal in the years to come. At the end of the video, tell us how you like these completely new insights of Saturn. Are you also fascinated by the technical possibilities of the telescope? Or do you belong to the club that more so admires the pure beauty of the cosmos?